Joke Thieves is the show where comedians perform their own jokes and then they steal each other's. Okay, everybody! Hey, what's up, fuckers? How's it going? <laughs> cool. I'm, uh, I'm mixed race. I'm half Filipino. I got a Filipino mom rising, white dad moon. <laughs> My, uh, my dad is white, but he's not like regular white. My dad is a redneck. He's like a, <laughs> my dad's like a country bumpkin. And I never really understood how like my redneck father and my Asian mother got together, right? What would they even bond about? Probably over the fact that they both would definitely um, eat roadkill. <laughs> so true, one of my parents, fun game for you guys to figure out which one. <laughs> Um, I, uh, I don't know, I got my heart broken recently, and that's, that's fucking embarrassing. <laughs> it's embarrassing because I got my heart broken by somebody from Blackpool. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have ever been to Blackpool, but Blackpool is like somebody's memory of a town, and the memory's fading. <laughs> I've tried to put myself out there more, dating-wise. Um, <laughs> But I don't, it's tough. Like, I got ghosted by somebody who lives in a basement. Yeah, real blow to the ego. I think if you're gonna ignore me, can you please at least live at sea level for my own peace of mind? I went on a date with this one guy, and he did this to me. He was like, you got something on your shirt. And then he flicked my nose. And then he kissed me. Yeah. And I liked it. <laughs> Yeah, I let him hit it because he's goofy. <laughs> a dude fingering me up in the cut like, huh, huh. <laughs> like, oh. it's, uh, it's no saving me. <laughs> it's hard dating when you're racially ambiguous. I get called exotic a lot, which is a kind of cool way of saying, hey, <laughs> I might be a little bit racist, but I'd like to see you naked. <laughs> I've had to correct people about my race like in really awkward times. Like it's, it's always uncomfortable. Like one time I had to tell this guy, um, I'm sorry, sir. <laughs> You're actually not sucking on big Latino titties. <laughs> the, uh, the tits are Asian. <laughs> Thanks. I uh, actually think it should be blatantly obvious though that I'm Filipino because the, uh, the Philippines gets hit hard with a lot of tsunamis and I too, the harder I get hit, the wetter I become. <laughs> No, I do, I do like rough sex. It's hard to, it's hard to admit that to guys because uh, when guys tell me that they also like rough sex, it's hard for me to find them attractive anymore because I'm like, I'm sorry. I don't think you're allowed to have a rape fantasy. That's for the girls only. <laughs> no. I'm, uh, I'm lonely. You guys getting that vibe? <laughs> I'm pretty lonely, but I'm also extremely delusional. So I'll be home alone in my room talking to myself being like, well, pfft. It's lonely up at the top. <laughs> no, I'm crazy. <laughs> I, uh, I don't know, I have a lot of insecurities. My weight fluctuates a lot. That's like a big one for me. Uh, I recently lost about 50 pounds and I told my dad this and he was like, Erica, did you do it for love? And I was like, what? <laughs> no, dad, I didn't do it for love. I did it so I could fuck with the lights on. <laughs> As if fucking with the lights off was tricking anybody. It's not like the guy was gonna touch my stomach and be like, damn girl, what'd you get 12 other titties? <laughs> I didn't know I was fucking a pregnant dog. <laughs> Got more than I bargained for. <laughs> my dad also asked me, uh, Erica, did you do it to become more attractive? And I was like, I don't know, dad. Did it work? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I wouldn't fuck my dad. <laughs> he watches Infowars and that is a deal breaker. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I've actually gained back most of the weight that I've lost since I've written that joke. I don't really mind though. I don't mind that I have like a bit of a gut again, you know, because I do believe that good pussy needs protection. <laughs> uh, I actually hope that my vagina is a lot like 9-11 in that men are never supposed to forget it. <laughs> and that it leaves people burning. <laughs> and there's a bush that wants an inside job done. 
All right, thanks. Up and Eric Ehler. <laughs> Eric Ehler, everybody. And let's keep it moving on. Keep the applause going. This time for the material of Eric Ehler. Give it up for Stephen Carlin. Hello, America. Um, <laughs> a mixed race, actually. Um, I'm half Filipino and half redneck, which I didn't think was a country, but <laughs> but here we go. And uh, but then my tits, they are um, Latino as well, so I'm actually three raced. <laughs> I get get my tits from the Latino side of the family, and. Uh, the rest of me from uh, the Filipino side, and then my neck. Um, <laughs> I get my neck from my dad's side of, of the family. Anyway, I, I, love, I, I, like, I like sex, and that's why I went to Blackpool. I, well, I heard that, uh, I heard that uh, Blackpool was rough. Um, I, Obviously, not being from the UK, I misunderstood what they meant by rough there. I only thought I was in for a lot of uh, rough sex, but it turns out it just meant is an uh, economically deprived area. <laughs> um, but I've been, I've been playing the dating game, and I was dating uh, a man in a basement. The, 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 so that was going to end well, wasn't it? That was, that was never... A, what, I was ghosted by a man in a basement. Most... Serial killers live in basements. I have had a very narrow escape. Um, <laughs> very narrow escape. Um, another thing was, he's from Blackpool, so he couldn't afford the energy bills. There was no light whatsoever. And I, there's one thing about me, I do like having sex with the lights on. So, you know, and that's, I was attracted by the Blackpool illuminations, but sadly they weren't in his in his flat, it didn't have them. Um, anyway, my, my vagina um, <laughs> is like 9-11. And because everyone can remember what they were doing the first time they seen my vagina, I, my, <laughs> my vagina uh, was a subject of a government inquiry uh, and directly, <laughs> My vagina directly led to the Iraq War in, in 2003. Um, my vagina has now been replaced by the Freedom Tower um, in downtown. Um, my vagina is... Uh, some conspiracy theorists think that it's an inside job, so... They, <laughs> I may have dad issues as well, I'm not sure. Um, I'm not sure about that, but I think that's to do with his, his red neck, which I... I talk to my dad a lot about my sex life, quite a lot. Not my mother so much, but I'm quite often discussing uh, a sex life and my weight with my, my dad as well. He just really... I've got a good relationship with him. My, my mother, not so much. We don't discuss those things at all there, but I was discussing the 9-11 the report with my dad <laughs> as well, because he likes to, he likes, I like to consult him about my vagina as well. So that... <laughs> That's why I went to Blackpool. Blackpool's got a tower and I thought, <laughs> wouldn't it be good if somebody flew a plane into that as well? Because that, that <laughs> then like my vagina, people would remember that. So, thank you very much, America. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.